Here, actually, you want to hold this so I get my wet seat up? I think we're actually like kind of on. No, we're not on time. Never mind. We were going to be on time. Oh. Okay. Do you need help with yours? All right. Um, but we did made it. Make it. <laughs> um, so we're all set up, you guys. We got buoy ready to go. Mask. Lies just finishing up. Wetsuit stuff. We have kits. No, we're just starting, Leah. Uh, kits are good to go, so I think all we really need to do is throw our kits on, and we can we can head out. <laughs> now you're right on time. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna be just starting. Keep in mind, you guys, Lai's just kind of a new diver, so I'm not sure how long we're gonna have on air. But he's our cord person today. Um, he's been training on the cord uh, for the past couple of days. Um, this is Lai's. We do not refill our own air. We actually did a live yesterday at uh, Maui Dive kind of showing you guys what we do with the whole air situation. So we do empty these tank tanks um, and then we uh, take the empty tanks back to Maui Dive and they just give us give us brand new takes right then and there. Um, oh, a newbie. Yeah, so I think this is his 13th dive. He's actually pretty good on air, but uh, we're going to really test him today. The current was really, really, really strong yesterday thank you we love our lives too rusi um a little hush by the way so you got live doing cord today i'll be camera with you guys um hopefully it's not blurry it like looks blurry on my end so i hope it's okay for you guys um so we have live on cord duty uh myself like i was saying Lige is a little bit new so i'm not sure how we're gonna end up doing on air today but we're gonna try our absolute hardest uh, while we're out there. Uh, do you need help? No, I can do that. Okay. Uh, you? <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Um, I do just have to get my kit on and my watch on. Do you want to grab my watch license? We got to go this. Right, that's the other way. Watch on, and it's just the loosest. This loosest is rung. So you guys can actually see how deep we are while we're underwater and the time and all that good stuff. So I do show you guys while we're down there. Um, <laughs> me too, Steven. Um, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to get our kits on. What? Sure. help us bring my mask and stuff. Bear with us just a sec guys while we uh, get kitted up. Hold on. Oh, okay. You want your computer? Um, hold on guys, I actually just want to get my mask uh, connected before I pick up the phone again. Okay, can you help me connect my mask real quick before do anything else? Um, and let me put your tank finger on. Uh, do you know how to do this? Yeah. Where's your spot? <laughs> Got it? 
Wait, wait, wait. Right, and then, let me get your thing finger on, and then I can grab the phone. Which side do you want the bang on? Uh, Are you ready? Spin. Oh, I'm to grab. Uh oh. Um. Uh. I see it. Okay. Uh, back to the phone. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Elijah's going to be our dive buddy today. Bettina worked really late last night. Um, so, are you ready? Do you need help? Are we going? Good. <laughs> um, uh, so, Bettina had to work late last night, so she is definitely still sleeping. I have a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, you guys know we don't normally dive on Saturdays, uh, but yeah, so we decided to come out really, really early. I wanted to get a dive in with you guys just because I was really, really sick this week, so I wasn't able to get as many dives in with you guys as we normally do. Um, hi, Lisa. It looks beautiful out. Uh, we don't want the cord dragging at all. Or you can, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yes, so we are in Maui. There better be sharks today. Thanks, Crystal. <laughs> there better be sharks. Oh, thank you so much, Lena, for subscribing. Also, I see a few subscribers on. If you guys are subscribed, please make sure to get a hold of me um, on TikTok if you guys haven't access to the Discord yet. Because the Discord's really fun, and we do try to try to post in there quite often. I'm so nervous for him. He'll be fine. <laughs> you gonna be fine, Lige? I'll make it. I'll make it. <laughs> uh, granted, he's uh, hasn't done as many dives as us, but he is with people that have done a lot of dives. Um, so that's very, very, very helpful. Um, and most of his dives he has done have been here at Mall, <laughs> so he knows the site pretty well. <laughs> We're going to take it really easy on him, guys. We're going to go nice and slow today. There was a current yesterday. <laughs> there was a current yesterday, um, so we got to be mindful of that. I don't know if we're going to have as strong of a current today. Uh, but yeah, is the water cold? It's not really that cold. I can show you when we're underwater. If you look at my watch, the very bottom number is the temperature in Fahrenheit. Um, I do think it's probably 76 degrees Fahrenheit. When is your open water dive? Our deep dive is on Wednesday. It was supposed to be Wednesday this week or last week or whatever, but I got really, I was pretty sick. I was congested, so I wasn't like deathly ill oh i love this high tide though let me tell you uh, i wasn't like deathly ill but i was pretty sick how do you equalize your ears with a full face mask i'm assuming that was a full question i kind of missed some of it um i actually have a plate that sits under my nose when i'm diving so if i tilt my chin down just a little bit it blocks my nose airways my nasal passage Whew. Hi, Spain. Um, so I can hands-free equalize with the full face mask, which is very, very helpful when we're doing these live streams because our hands are pretty busy. <laughs> so, Willow, we are gonna go underwater. Hi, Audrey. Um, we are gonna ooh, go underwater. Uh, no Bettina today. Bettina, we don't usually dive Saturdays because Bettina works really late Friday nights. Um, she's not, she would if I asked her get up super early, but she doesn't go to bed till like three or four in the morning Fridays. So it would be cruel <laughs> I'd ask her to come dive all early. What do you do if a shark comes? <laughs> uh, get good videos of it. <laughs> Um, no, we have appropriate ways to handle 
different sharks in different situations. Um, most of the time, the sharks we see here are the white tips. Um, and although they're quite energetic sharks, they are fairly docile. You know, they're pretty scared of us. Um, luckily, the sharks here know us really well. So they usually aren't very concerned about us divers. Um, but white tips in general will just kind of kind of swim away <laughs> when they see divers. Sydney, the water temperature I don't think has changed. I do think it's still going to be about 76 degrees. So even if it's dramatically colder on the surface, like this morning than any other morning, the water temperature is still, still going to be about 76 degrees. It takes quite a while to change that temperature. Uh, in the summertime, we do see temps upwards of like 82, 83 degrees at the height of summer. Um, maybe, possibly. It's probably going to be more like 80. Whew. Does your friend ever talk? Why do you want to talk? <laughs> hey, hi guys. Uh, he doesn't. He's not. Uh, <laughs> I met Lash playing video games, but he's not gonna want to talk on camera. <laughs> I'm here to hold this up. <laughs> I'll just talk your ears off. Woo. Okay. Hello from Sweden. Everyone said LOL. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi. <laughs> Hello. Woo. Can everyone like and follow and share? Oh, poor decisions. <laughs> I forgot to blow up my BCD. I was talking too much. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> uh, the sharks know you very well. Yeah, no, the sharks here know us pretty well. That's one of the reasons I'm talking so much underwater. Honestly, there's a lot of divers that come through here, and although we're pretty unique and that like I wear pink and we're here every day. Yeah, we run into sharks all the time. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure a lot of the animals here recognize my voice. Um, so that being, that's one of the reasons I'm always talking to the animals and just in general making the noise that I make. It doesn't sound as loud as you guys think it does. My breathing and bubbles are actually much louder than my talking. Um, but I do, do like to make myself very distinct to these animals. Um, it also helps build that trust factor with them. Uh, we are just beginning. Um, so by being really respectful of them and making it known that I am an individual and recognizing you know, their individual uniqueness, um, when, as they get to know us, they know. Well, uniqueness, um, when, as they get to know us, they know. Uh, they, can, they could trust us and come over and say hi and interact with us. So it looks really gorgeous. It's not windy at all. I'm excited too. Uh, really flat. Oh, wow. I just realized. Thanks, guys. We're already at 23 likes. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Whew. Uh, swooshy, swooshy. Swooshy, swooshy. On. uh probably not uh they aren't like super excited when we come around uh, they're definitely like resting and uh we have to do what we can to be like quiet and give them their space you all right you want me to hold the buoy okay what mask do you use hello fairy by nature thank you ali thank you guys for all the little gifts and stuff too let me show you guys the mask i'll be putting on in just a moment um, so I am using a full face OTS communication mask. That is how I'm able to talk to you guys. The mouth part's open. There's nothing in my mouth. Um, how do you not get scared at night? Talk to you guys. The mouth part's open. There's nothing in my mouth. Um, how do you not get scared at night? Um, I don't know. I feel like the, the knowledge that we don't see everything that's around us while we're underwater and yet nothing really bothers us or hurts us is very helpful. Um, I was watching Bettina and Lige the other day when they were diving and I was above them and they had sharks around them that they had no idea were there. There was a monk seal like two feet behind Lige checking out the cord and he didn't even know this like five, six foot monk seal was just hanging out behind them. 
Um, so it's very interesting to see these big animals that came up to them on that one dive that they didn't even notice. Um, so it makes me realize like how much is going on around us that we don't even see. Um, and since those animals aren't intently set on eating us, uh, <laughs> we're pretty good at night. Yeah, you guys can see underwater. You can see underwater. How's it looking? <laughs> Thank you so much, Karen. You want me? How's it looking? <laughs> Thank you so much, Karen. You want me to know when you're ready? What animal is Penelope? So Penelope is a porcupine puffer fish. She is a mature porcupine puffer fish. Um, and puffer fish are very curious, very friendly fish, but they can be quite shy. Uh, and it does take some time to work up a relationship with them. So finally, this week, she's just decided she really likes us. Um, and it makes me so, so, so happy uh, to have that relationship with her. Because at this point now, when we dive, she kind of like follows us when she sees us. It's so cute. And she loves being on camera. Same with a lot of the turtles. I got fully a turtle assaulted yesterday. Oh my gosh, it's already fogging. Mm -hmm. I would, you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she is really adorable. Yeah, sitting there. Oh, I just the side. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Hold the camera. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Look out, it's not going to appear. <laughs> Sharkman. <laughs> all right. Take all the screenshots. Might be a little bit blurry, but here you go. <laughs> Look, I you saying something. I read something. <laughs> all right. Still gotta get my mask on. Do you need help? to breathe out of your nose ever i mean unless you're doing the pressure okay. situation but that's what's fogging up your mask oh there you go unless you're releasing pressure got um, it you shouldn't you shouldn't be just like blowing air out your nose all the time that's just oh man causing it to fog so that uh defog gel is amazing yeah my Bettina air. was like, I need it. I get water uh -huh. there. It doesn't matter what happens. I mean, that defog gel will last, like, that'll last the whole day. Oh, yeah. One, one, I need it. I get water uh -huh. there. It doesn't matter what happens. I mean, that defog gel will last, like, that'll last the whole day. Oh, yeah. One, one, let me see. I mean, you're already fogging up. It is what it is. Okay, you got this? So we got it. <laughs> okay. I might not be able to see much, but... <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but it's definitely a little bit, a little bit fogged. Probably just because we're at the surface. Let's buy some extra gel today. It's a good idea. Keep it in the uh, car. How do we record? The question we'd ever get. <laughs> right here, we got the internet on a buoy. Connected to a cord, connected to the phone. Hi. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah. You ready to go down? I just gotta unclip it. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Uh, is it? Is it what? Uh, I don't think so. Above the water here. Thank you, Lisa. We are gonna go down, you guys. 
from start to time. You ready, Wes?
did you guys see her flashing colors? That was not the lighting. That was her. She is so beautiful. Like a mini little sea monster. Well, the fish is uh, really bothering her after her. Ha <laughs> ha 
They are so cute. What cute following dog? <laughs>
thought it seemed more like a possible territory argument. And maybe they've been having it for a little bit since the other octopus has an empty. Okay, I can stay with the octopus. Let me 
let me go fly with her. There was an octopus right here. I don't see it. Usually the goat fish will show us way up. Oh. I see an octopus. Do you see her? Oh, 
do it. <laughs> also, oh my god, I just noticed there's 4,000 people <laughs> watching me be a crazy lady.
Okay. The current is really strong. I think that's why the sharks are swimming. Normally they are so sleeping. You can see her getting blown by the current. Uh, 
and we really like sharks. Sharks are really cute. Uh, thank you guys for watching uh, <laughs> and diving with us. So far, it's been an awesome dive.
Oh, wow. 
also uh, 23 feet. <laughs> 
I am using an iPhone, the 8.51 a.m. I am getting a little bit chilly.
minutes with those octopus because I was like having a crazy fangirl moment so I hope you guys were having fun with that um, <laughs> and then there was just so much going on with those octopus like they were doing a lot but then there were like sharks all by us and turtles swimming up to us and oh my gosh uh, epic dive wasn't it I mean, Amazing, by the way, you guys. He's such a sweetheart. Thanks for taking me diving without getting out of my bed. We got you. Um, <laughs> Thanks for taking me diving without getting out of my bed. We got you. Um, <laughs> you guys are so, so sweet. Oh, wait. So I'm still kind of learning all this stuff on like TikTok. Um, but I'm pretty sure Panka bought those subscriptions and like we hit our subscriber goal too. So thank you so much, sweetheart. <laughs> um, woo. Also, by the way, I thought it was so cool that we bumped into that stonefish because we uh, just posted a video of a frogfish yesterday and a lot of people were a little confused thinking those frogfish were stonefish. So that was so cool to show you guys the stonefish. And while I was looking at that stonefish, I'm like, wait, there's a whole bunch of sharks around me right now. Oh, so funny. I was, that happened with the octopus. Um, the frogfish was so cute. No, or the fish was so cute. No, we're not going to do another dive today. I really want to. What? What? Oh, no. Do you see it? <laughs> uh, you sounded like you were from a different country underwater. Um, <laughs> I am wearing like a Darth Vader mask um, when we're underwater. So, I mean, I definitely sound <laughs> gone. All right. <laughs> oh, you got it? Are you sure? Yeah. Are you positive though? Yeah. Okay. Because we've been drifting. 
Uh, we saw a lot of sea life today. I think you guys were freaking out uh, as much as I was about all the sea life we saw today. Uh, the octopus were incredible. I was understand. Well, I'm, I'm happy you were able to understand, but it's going to be so sad. Like today was a, a, a crazy dive. Like I told you guys, I think like 10 times on this dive. Like, this is one of the best dives I've done all year, hands down. Uh, <laughs> like, it was pretty crazy. <laughs> well, I just dropped a little cord. <laughs> He's, like, going down to go get it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm happy you guys were able to understand me. I have heard, like, headphones help a lot um, with understanding and getting some more clarity. I know it sounds muffled and, like... <laughs> oh you got it Lies, you got it <laughs> uh, I know we sound muffled and um... <laughs> good job Lies <laughs> oh I thought it was gone <laughs> I was like are you sure it's there <laughs> um, I do not speak Spanish um, and Patriots I was not wearing my hat underwater I do have my hat on now um, so we actually carry this buoy around. That was Lijah's job today. He loved it. Lijah, you did amazing on your air. Amazing. 73 minute dive and there was a current and I was like literally a freaking torpedo under there and just like all over the place. And poor Lijah's like dragging this buoy behind me. Literally a freaking torpedo under there and just like all over the place. Um, <laughs> It was an underwater live. It looks like you missed the underwater part, but so awesome. Um, honestly, I could have sat with that octopus all day, you guys. It was incredible. Um, I'm trying to think. The Alua, that was the thing we saw at the beginning. We saw all of those bluefin trevally. They were some big, big trevally. Usually I see them hunting in groups of like two or three. Today they were in a group of like a dozen and they were massive and they were out actively hunting. It was so cool. <laughs> they were massive and they were out actively hunting. It was so cool. <laughs> um, I am unable to go live later today, you guys. Uh, we saw a ton of sharks today. We are going to do at least one dive tomorrow, maybe two dives. Um, unfortunately, not unfortunately, but I mean... I do have a life and we have been diving almost every day, except for when I was sick. Uh, but we'll get some videos posted. If you guys want to rewatch this dive, we'll get it up on YouTube for you by tomorrow. Um, but I will post some highlights of the dive on our TikTok page too. Um, <laughs> uh, so definitely by tomorrow. And yes, thank you guys so much to our moderators. Uh, they were so amazing, just like keeping the peace on the page, answering questions. Uh, they're really awesome. They're using like their own time to kind of be here on these lives and keep the page as awesome as it is. So a huge thank you to them. Um, <laughs> thanks, Bunka. Uh, but yeah, no, we did just finish, you guys. Um, we were underwater for an hour and 13 minutes. That was really good. I did not think we were going to be under that long. <laughs> For an hour and 13 minutes. That was really good. I did not think we were going to be under that long. <laughs> it was a struggle. It was a struggle. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, those are volcano peaks that you guys see. That's actually another island over there. It's another island over there. We got land. We got land behind us over here. Oh, look at that wave. That is so fun. Um, where do we send pictures? So you guys can send pictures on our Discord, of course. Um, Instagram or email works too. Eli's doing awesome. Dude, he's crushing it. He did so good. <laughs> so I totally did not think we were going to be down there that long. Like I said at the beginning of the dive, he's, he's a pretty new diver. New divers usually take a while to get good on air. So not only was he out there in low vis, strong current, but I was like so excited about life. <laughs> I was just like flying around underwater and all over the place. And I was just 
dragging this buoy and chasing me down underwater and all over the place. And I just dragging this buoy and chasing me and trying not to huff through his air so we can stay underwater. Thank you so much, Rhea. Um, <laughs> Morgan, we just got done with our dive. We used up all our oxygen in our tanks. Plus you can kind of see. Plus oil. <laughs> so, uh, we are going to be diving on Oahu next weekend. This weekend, you guys. Kara's going to be meeting us on Oahu. You're going to get your girl team. Crispy says, thank you, Elijah. <laughs> thank you, Crispy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jillian says, you're doing great. Great. Um, so we're going to go dive Oahu next weekend and do some live streams over there. Plus, we're doing our huge Earth Day event. Um, yeah, solar air, not oxygen. <laughs> thank you. Uh, so we are doing our Earth Day event um, next weekend. It's going to be on Sunday, the 21st. If anybody's visiting Hawaii, lives in Hawaii, if you're on Oahu, we're doing a huge cleanup in Magic Island. We would, if you're on Oahu, we're doing a huge cleanup in Magic Island. We would absolutely love it if you came and joined us. Uh, you can go check the link in our bio and grab my email and email us or message us on TikTok. Uh, but we would absolutely love it if you guys joined us for the cleanup. We're going to live stream the whole event. So if you're not physically able to come and be present, you can still join us on um, on this page. <laughs> Thank you. So able to come and be present, you can still join us on um, on this page. <laughs> Thank you so much, Whitney. It was an amazing, amazing dive this today. I am like going to be on a dive high all day after that. I have so much footage to post. Oh my gosh, that octopus! <laughs> um, thank you so much, Medea. We do have some future dives already on our page. A subscriber dive on Monday. So if you're not a subscriber, uh, now's a good chance to do that. Um, we do a subscriber dive twice a month. So usually it's going to be on the 15th and 31st of every month. Um, anybody can watch a subscriber dive, but uh, only our subscribers can comment a uh, cute thing, we saw tons of sharks, like a dumb amount of sharks, octopus, octopus fights, octopus hanging out with us, stonefish, bluefin, chivalry, tons of turtles, oh, what am I missing? <laughs> we saw so much stuff today, I can't, um, wait for me, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm swimming slow, deep dive is on Wednesday, puffer fish, thank you so much, we did see the puffer, thanks wildcat, uh, so we are doing a deep dive on Wednesday morning. We're going to do two deep dives with you guys. That's already an event posted. I met a couple of days ago, but I got sick. So we had to reschedule. Um, I'm crying. I'm so sorry. We're going to post so many highlights. I think we hung out with the octopus for like 45 minutes of this dive today. Um, what's the craziest thing we've ever seen while diving? In the video I just posted... In the description, I talked about it. I think the coolest thing I've ever seen was um, was night diving here one time, and a big giant monk seal, like a huge monk seal, swam by me. Well, he was kind of like off to the side, swam by me, and he had a giant puffed up puffer fish in his mouth. <laughs> it was just late at night, like midnight. It was kind of murky, and to have this big predator swim like right up to us with like a puffer fish in its mouth the whole thing just looked scary and cute and i don't know it's probably by far one of the craziest things i've ever seen it just looked scary and cute and i don't know it's probably by far one of the craziest things i've ever seen <clears throat> thank you laura oh were you on that live diane what a <laughs> so funny <laughs> i always freak out when we see the big stuff so <laughs> you listen to me scream underwater. How many times did I scream today? <laughs> did you hear me? I, hate this <laughs> you? I get so excited. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah. Um, thank you, Jacko. If you guys want to know how we do these live streams, I mean, the setup's right there. But our first pinned video has some really good imagery, and we explain it really well. Um, so it's just the easiest way for me to tell you to go uh, look, how to see how to do it. We don't really like gatekeep anything or 
you know, we don't not want people to know how to do this. So yeah, we love we love letting you guys know how we do it. And <laughs> thanks, Tanya. I love the octopus too. Um, I felt bad. I felt like a lot of you guys might have been getting bored, but I could have just hung out all day, all day with the octopus. <laughs> Thank you, Ileana. <laughs> so thanks, Christy. I can't help it. So Lige was going through some video. Look out this way. Lige was going through some video last night and he kept showing me clips of me <laughs> and I just don't remember doing any of that. I'm pretty sure what's happening is I have like thoughts and I just don't have a filter like they just come out of my mouth. So I can't even tell if I'm like thinking things or saying them out loud. Because I do rewatch a lot of my clips and I'm like why am I like that? Like I thought I was just saying that in my head and I wasn't. <laughs> Uh, no, we're in Hawaii. We're all done with the dive, guys. We're walking back. Uh, but we are in Maui. Thank you so much, Tanya. Aren't those jellies so pretty? Uh, um, we usually see whales when we kayak. We didn't get too many opportunities to kayak this season. But I'll get us a kayak bot for next season. Uh, was the octopus in the beginning? It was. It was literally like the first half of the dive almost. Like, <laughs> There were two octopus and they got in a fight. I know a lot of you guys said they were mating, but this is our uh, investigation skills that we're going to utilize here. So octopus are going to do a little bit more of a courtship than, than what happened there. Um, that octopus looked like he was almost trying to show us. She was trying to show us the other octopus because she wanted us to follow her, which was kind of weird. Um, you could clearly tell she was like waiting for us and swimming all slow. And then they found each other and they weren't acting hyper aggressive, but the other octopus was injured. Um, and the type of injury it had did look indicative to another octopus's beat bite, beak bite. So it does look like they might have been fighting all morning. And that's just kind of what we witnessed was something like that. It did not look like they were making babies. Uh, have we found anything interesting from the fires? No, I mean, a lot of sad stuff just burned and uh, destroyed, but um, the areas I go to on the west side have not been touched by the fires. Um, I have not, uh, out of respect and because just everything going on, we do stay away from the, the affected areas. It's just a lot. It's very deep, heavy, very traumatizing. There's so many here on Maui and uh, I will totally make an octopus video for you guys today. <laughs> I'll go live at sunset too. So I'll post that before I go live. Um, the hearts. So this is a great way to tell what point we're at in our dives, you guys, visually. Right when we first start the dive, as we're heading out, about five to 10 minutes into the dive, you're gonna notice we pass one single metal heart. Um, and that means we're, we're heading on out, out to the turtle cleaning station, out to look for sharks and octopus and all that jazz. On the way in, we pass two metal hearts that are, you know, side by side or, you know, overlaying each other. One of them has coral growing on it, which is amazing. Um, so we pass those on our way back in. That usually means as we pass those twin hearts, Penelope is usually over there too. Uh, it usually means we'll be ascending within five to 10 minutes. Oh no, Zoe, and it was such a good dive. If you guys aren't following, by the way, do that. I got some really cool shots of the octopus looking like a sea monster. I don't know if you guys noticed that but she just looked so big underneath that ledge and it was all dark and her tentacles were out everywhere. I was like, look at you, you tiny, cute little sea monster. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> uh, thanks for all the follows, guys. Oh no, Zoe. Oh, she was beautiful. Uh, two octopus, fighting octopus. So excited to post that uh, footage for you guys. To, I'm going to post it today. I'm uh, working on a video talking about Holly, our hawks bill, but I'm not in a hurry to post that just because I want to get it posted on a day when we're going to go dive Red Hill. 
Uh, maybe it'll bring us some holly luck. The little fight was crazy. You can hear me just screaming underwater. I'm such a psychopath. And then, of course, I'm like freaking out and being all loud and however I get. And I look at my phone and there's like over 4,000 people watching. And I'm like, no, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> yes, Raw Honey. I mean, what we do is we download um, the lives off of TikTok. So we can't even access these lives for a couple hours. Uh, TikTok needs to like process them. And then we download them onto our devices and then we get them uploaded to YouTube. So if Bettina is free tonight, I'll see if she can just get it uploaded tonight if anyone wants to watch it. But I will get some footage of the octopus posted on our TikTok today. And I'll take you guys to go watch Sunset with me tonight from the beach. And I'll post it uh, right before we watch Sunset together. That way you don't miss it. <laughs> but a lot of cool moments today. I kind of had a mini like freak out moment fangirly i don't know fangirl of the ocean moment when we're sitting there looking at that octopus and i didn't know what to look at i'm like oh no there's sharks swimming over here and then i'm like oh no and there's this parade of turtles coming right up to us and i'm like but oh no this octopus i like freaked out i was like what do we look at <laughs> the octopus are the chameleons of the sea hey pj <laughs> oh my god incredible <laughs> a little murky to start, but it's nice. Whew. It is morning in Hawaii, guys. It's 9.19 a.m. here. Whew. I got my car today. Look at my sticker. <laughs> you can help, Lars? Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you. My sticker! Uh, we could do a live on Kauai um, right now. So we just raised funds to do um, a deep dive boat day. I'm gonna get another GoFundMe up and going and we're gonna start raising funds to go to the Big Island to do live streams on the Big Island. Uh, just cause they have dolphins there um, and tiger sharks. We need to find their tiger sharks. <laughs> Thanks Mr. Ed. Lige well, did great today. He did so awesome. I'm really proud of him. <laughs> Merc and current. I told them like right when we got under, like a couple of minutes into that dive, I was like, and here's Lige's like trial by fire. Not only is it super murky, but there's not current. <laughs> so I'm gonna have you unclip my mask, please. No. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Crispy. Yeah, Barbara. Let me uh, hold on. I'm getting my kit off, and I'll show you show you the sticker um how much do you guys have to raise i have to calculate the costs for the here can you just hold this yeah. uh for the big island it's mostly like flights and woo, um it would be like flights and like hotel costs uh to help get us out there oh, you got it yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, all right, someone wanted to see our sticker, okay. and I'm going to get everyone out of this underwater case. Here we go. Um, I'm only three hours behind you, Don. so locally for us, we're going to go live at about 6.30 p.m. I'm going to start, uh, can we get the car keys out first? Um, or can you hold this so I can do it? I can, okay. Sorry. I just wanted to get that tightened. I, uh, definitely passed the limit. But then we popped up and I think it hit 500 after we popped above the water. Yeah? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> You're like fine. Four. I was trying to keep an eye ish on how much air you are. <laughs> <laughs> there, was a lot of, there was a lot of exciting things happening. That was very difficult for me. <laughs> uh, I like really wish we could breathe underwater for real at that Oh, point that'd be great. Because, oh my gosh. Can you unzip me real quick? Yep. Okay. So I'm trying to hang out in my tank. It's a little off balance there. Okay. You got it, you got it. Yeah. Oh, sunshine. Oh, 
Oh, hello. There's the there's the sticker. Uh, we did just end uh, 6 30 p.m. Thank you so much, Medea. I usually go live about 10 ish minutes before actual sunset. Sorry, I gotta grab my, <laughs> some stuff out of my car. I need like a cloth to get my phone out of this case. Um, so we usually go live uh, about 10 15 minutes before sunset because I really like the lighting after the sun sets. So. No, this is my tiny car. Oh no, I don't know whose car that is. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, oh, have fun at the beach, that girl. I'm gonna start getting my phone out of this case, you guys. Please ask any questions now if you have them. We have a couple of minutes where we can uh, chat. Sorry, I had to unscrew some stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll do sunset with you guys tonight. I always go to the park with my kids on Saturday nights uh, and they're super cool and they just kind of let me take off the sunset. And I enjoy watching that with you guys. Uh, I love Hawaii. Do we get hot in the gear? No, I was actually quite cold by the end of that dive. Yeah, I was kind of starting to shiver. So when we get out of the water, we're pretty chilly. I'm going to get my phone out of this case. Sorry. sorry, everybody. I am so sorry. All the jostling, but you guys were in the case. Um, hold on, I missed so many questions. Uh, do you ever go over all the equipment you use? I should do it more often. We've done it a couple of times and I really think we just have like one video of me talking about the gear that we use. As far as the live streaming equipment, that's all in our first pin video. But as far as like all of our equipment and our equipment as scuba divers, I don't really talk about that enough. And I feel like that's a great video for us to make as well as the hand signals we use when we're underwater. I think having a video going over uh, basic scuba diver hand signals and stuff like that would help you guys out so much. Um, hi from Italy. We are in Maui. It is 9.23 a.m. in Maui. Thank you so much, Mike. Um, met it. Oh, she posted the video of the octopus in the fight in Discord. Thank you so much. Ah! Okay, Heather's on it. Um, <laughs> um that's so awesome uh if you guys are subscribers by the way i do see a lot of subscribers watching and you're not in our discord um download dis discord um and and join our discord message me here on tiktok for the link uh we have a special discord set up for all of our new uh for all of our subscribers so we would love to see you guys in there um, it's a lot of fun. We uh, chat in there so much and just have such a good time. Oh, crap. I set a new um, subscriber goal and I meant to type in 155 and it set it to like 15,000. We, uh -huh. we can do it. We got five <laughs> it's so funny. Um, and then we do have like a screen screenshot section in Discord and everyone posts like the best best pictures in there. I love it so much. Actually, I go, it's like the first thing I go through when I hop on Discord. Um, as far as the whales, I'm assuming that's what you guys are talking about. We don't usually see them on our dives. They are there. We have been diving a couple of times. Um, <laughs> thank you for subscribing. Uh, we have been diving a couple of times and the whales have been close, like very, very, very close as in like probably a hundred, 150 feet away from us. Um, and also, by the way, reminder, if you're a subscriber, get into our Discord. It's in the benefits section. If you can't access it, please message me on TikTok to get you the link. Um, so what happens is our bubbles are quite loud while we're scuba diving, thanks to the Florida family, and they're very visible. Please keep in mind that these marine mammals like dolphins and whales, when they're blowing bubbles, it's generally a sign of aggression or hunting. So being that they're endangered animals, they're not animals that we can just actively go out there and like chase. We don't really want to chase around any animals to begin with. Um, what's wrong? Oh, let me turn. Perfect. You should be good to begin with. Um, what's wrong? Oh, let me turn. Perfect. You should be good as they like our shallow water. You're not gonna find as many humpback whales on the other islands as you will here in Maui. They've just had their babies, they're mating, there's newborn whales out there, and they do come as shallow as about 15 feet in depth. Um, I've seen them kayaking in 15 feet of water. 
Uh, so they're quite shallow here. Uh, they do like their deep water um, for sure, but in whale season in the winter here, they are very shallow most of the time. You're not gonna find them out in the channels too often or out in that deep water. So they're quite close. Uh, you can only hear whale song about two miles away. Whales can hear it much further, so you guys are right in that, but we as humans only hear whales about two miles away. I think it's even a little bit less for you guys on camera since you're in an underwater housing and an underwater case. You guys can probably only hear them about a mile, a mile and a half away. So when we do hear those whales underwater like today, they are within a mile or a mile and a half. When they sound deafeningly loud to the point where it's like vibrating the camera, which has happened tons of times on our lives, they're probably like 200 feet away from us. Um, we did just finish. I'm so sorry, Elijah's kind of packing up our gear over here. And it was a stupidly incredible dive, you guys. I'm gonna be like on a crazy dive high all day because of this. Um, <laughs> like it was so, so good. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if you guys know this, but like I'm obsessed with octopus. I love them so much. So not only did we find like the world's friendliest octopus ever today who loved us, I think we've hung out with her a few times, but she uh, brought us to another octopus. They got in a little tiffy, a little tiny fight. Um, and then she proceeded to bring us back to that other octopus a couple of times and hung out with us for quite a while. So not only the octopus with those trevally, all those sharks actively swimming around, all the turtles. Thank you, lover of the beautiful. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and just like hanging out with us. You guys are so cool. Um, and then I heard that we already have the octopus fight posted in our Discord. I'm pretty sure Heather posted that. Uh, thank you. I love my monkey pot hat too. I saw it and like had to have it. I'm one of those weird people who like goes out to eat. And if I see a really colorful hat, like I've got to, I've got to get it. <laughs> You all right, Lies? You need help? You just pull it off. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, thank you, Fran Diego. Sorry, we're kind of just like watching live do the deconstruction process over here so I can chat with you guys. Um, but thank you guys so much. Uh, Kenzie, humpback whales are not going to make you go death, 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 death if you're close to them. Uh, that does happen with other species, or it could. Um, the sonic clicks of a sperm whale are deafening. They are brutal on your eardrums. Uh, not so much a humpback whale. Their song's a lot more delicate. Very, very loud, and you can feel it in your body, but not going to make you go deaf. Uh, you guys rock. <laughs> well, I'll just watch Lies <laughs> take apart gear over here. Um, no, we are so happy to share them with you guys, Fran. Um... <laughs> Eli is very easy on the eyes. <laughs> Get it, Lige. Um, how do we connect to your Discord? Um, so it should be under the benefits section on our TikTok here when you click on the subscription link. Um, another way to connect is to just message me here on TikTok because you're a subscriber. Your DMs go like directly through to me. They're prioritized. So I'll see it right when we end this live and I'll make sure to get you guys that link. Um, we are leaving already. I'm sorry. It was such a good dive. Um, I would love to dive Roatan. Everybody's been telling me I have to dive Roatan and we would love to. Why are your graphics so good? I think they're awful. So I'm a professional photographer. It's what got me into this. I had like a fancy underwater camera and everything. Uh, even like the GoPro quality is better than the phone quality. So uh, I'm driven partially. Thank you, Fran. I'm driven partially crazy by how bad the quality is when we're down there. It's like 720p. And when I'm like editing videos, I'm like, oh, I need to strap a GoPro to my face. But we're, <laughs> thank you, Isabella. We're already just carrying so much stuff like a GoPro, believe it or not. Those tiny GoPros is one extra thing to worry about. And we always forget it. Um, but it would make the quality of our content so much better we cannot use a gopro to live stream we're using an iphone um but it's not the device we're using to live stream it's it's tiktok and our connection to the surface that's lowering the quality of the content so we i meant i more meant i would love to use a gopro to get content footage for the page 
Oh my gosh, we should keep in touch with you, Queen. Uh, we would love to live stream in Roatan. We even have a Starlink and everything. We're absolutely ready. I've just heard the diving out there is like unbeatable. I uh, love the octopus moment. <laughs> so low, I feel like that too, because I'm pretty sure that's an octopus we saw yesterday. I think we've met her a few times over the past two weeks. And I think she just liked us. I know a lot of people are like, you're bothering her or she's running from you. I think everyone forgets like how fast octopus swim and what tiny holes they can hide in. So she was not... Um, swimming very quickly away from us she was swimming very slow and kept looking at us to make sure we were following her and every time we swam away from her she was popping up and like coming closer and closer to us and staring us down so she was oh thank you for the subscription taylor um so she was very interested in us and she made no effort to hide like none i know she was going under ledges and stuff like that but she did not try to hide from us uh, so that was really cool. She was very, very interactive, very cheeky and curious. So um, <laughs> I know Bettina is beautiful. Uh, if the octopus didn't want to be seen, you would not see her. Great point, Ed. We had a lot of people. I think there were a couple of people at one point being like, oh, no, you're bothering her. She's, she's trying to hide and camouflage. I'm like, trust me, she is not trying to camouflage. Octopus don't try to camouflage. They just, they just camouflage. They do it. They can blend in seamlessly with their surroundings. Um, water sealed case to use for your phone while diving. So we have two different kinds. We work with the Sea Life Sports Pro, which is the one I recommend. It is insanely durable. Our Sea Life Sports Pros have lasted us years and years. And then we've just done a few dives with a dive vault case. Um, so we're testing that out. But those are the ones. Uh, you're my first sub and only. Oh, thank you so much, Taylor. Don't forget to use like the little emojis and stuff when we're underwater. And please, if you guys are subs, join that Discord. Uh, just because we post in there a lot. We like have a lot of fun conversations. It's a really cool community in that Discord. And there's a lot of really good information. So don't forget to message me here on TikTok to get that Discord link. Um, brand of Hotspot, please. I don't even know what Hotspot. Where, it's a Verizon. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Why do the sharks not bother us and who's the guy? This is Elijah Ben. Say hi. hi. Your hair looks crazy. <laughs> it's cute. Um, and I miss the other got distracted. Uh, why don't the sharks bother you? I know I talk a lot, Lindsay. So the problem is I could go pack up the stuff, but nobody wants to talk. So Bettina, Kara, and Lige don't like talking. So every time I hand them the phone to go do stuff, they're always like ready to hand it back to me. <laughs> so the general rule of thumb is they kind of pack up all the stuff while I do all the talking because they don't like talking. <laughs> so that's kind of what ends up happening. Uh, we did just go underwater. Somebody asked why the sharks don't bother us because they don't they don't want to or not. We're bigger than them. We're super scary. We're terrifying to those sharks, by the way. They don't want to bother us. Um, and then on top of it, we just look like predators. We act like predators. We are not an easy meal for them. For the sharks we were seeing today, we're not a meal at all. Um, so they're not going to bother us. Uh, and most sharks in general aren't going to be aggressive by nature. Curious and confident, sure, but not aggressive by nature. Thanks so much, Mike. We do have the uh, pinned video. It's our first pinned video on the page. You guys can go check out. Um, and that explains really well with some cool visuals exactly how we do these live streams. Um, did I sing Baby Shark at all today, Diane? I felt like I did. I sing so many random songs when we're underwater. I'm so sorry. Definitely sang the Jaws theme song at one point. <laughs> I am so dumb. <laughs> um, <laughs> does he talk? Benjamin says, do you talk? What do you mean? Don't shake your head. I'm shy. <laughs> don't. No, I'm lying this. Oh my gosh. Elijah. Um, <laughs> we are in Hawaii. I feel like I'm missing some conversation here. We are not about to go out. We actually just finished. Uh, we were underwater for about 73 minutes. Li oh, there you go. I just falling. Uh, Lige did really good on his air. We are done with today's dive. We are going to try and do two dives tomorrow. Conditions dependent, but they're going to be a little later in the day. So we're hoping to do an afternoon dive and a sunset dive. Definitely too murky right now to be out there doing um, 
a uh, uh, after after dark dive. Uh, you definitely find the best people to dive with. I know. I get so sad when I see spear fishermen go out because they take all the octopus, all the tacos. Uh, and I want to go out there and like hide them. Uh, not that I'm against spear fishing in any way, shape, or form. I've just made like friends here and I get like really worried about my friends. Oh, I want to go like put them in my pocket. Look at the baby chickens. What makes the water murky? It's a lot of different things. We are in Maui. Thanks for the water, life. Um, mm. Aloha, France from Maui. Um, so the water gets murky for a variety of reasons. Today it's going to be the current is what I was doing. it. There's a steady inward current pushing in. It's bringing in all that debris good soupy stuff whether it's poops or sand and sediment and sperm and eggs and seaweeds and all different kinds of stuff makes this like soupy haze um so you guys are like a team are you a biologist or is this your passion it's amazing great question queen uh so i've been primarily running the page for two years now uh, Kara's been a part of the team as well as Bettina for a while. Kara was my main partner for forever. You guys love Kara. Most of you guys know her. Uh, she had a family emergency and did have to leave Hawaii. And uh, she did not leave the team. She still comes out here like every two months to dive and be on lives with us. And she moderates and she's always doing stuff on the page. Um, Bettina has been my best friend for, I don't know, years. My Like forever. Uh, and she's doing the lives with us right now. She's been our other cord person lately. Um, and this cute guy over here moved out here to hang out with me. Hi, Lige. Uh, and in doing that, he has gotten dive certified and is helping out with the cord and stuff. So that's the team we have right now. There's the four of us. Four of us. Four of us. <laughs> doing yeah hold on <laughs> uh we can't wait to see Kara next weekend we're so exciting oh thank you so much queen i'm gonna pass the phone off to lies she's gonna have to lies look shy oh no <laughs> lies you're cute <laughs> thank you hi Kara. <laughs> Kara, did you see the dive tell me you saw some of it because yeah <laughs> <laughs> It was so good. Uh, that was great. Talk to I don't know. Words. Hi. Hello, people. One guy. I don't really talk much. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ed. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the dive life? Um, that octopus fight, for sure. That was, that was cool. I mean, it was quick, but like, that was cool. That was so cool. The bigger one won. Who would have guessed? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Had more power. Um, <clears throat> I should have the injury on camera from that second octopus though. I think I got a good oh, that shot That should all be it. on there, I hope. What? That should all be on there, I hope. Oh, the fight's on for sure. I got okay. that, but I wanna, I, I'm pretty sure I got the injury because we were filming that octopus and he had a big old bite mark on the top oh, really? of him. Yeah. I didn't see that. And it looked like another octopus fight, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> are you guys marine biologists oh that was a part of the question yeah are you marine <laughs> biologists or is this just for fun i love it so much thank you uh we did Lynn Kara and i did meet McClinic. in school for marine biology uh we did not actually finish our degrees but we got quite far in them and then uh elijah's not a marine biologist he's a very new I'm diver very casual he's fresh a video diver. game player <laughs> i play games we met in a dinosaur game. How great. <laughs> I like I'm like stomping grapes whenever I get my wet That's oh, Bowen. Bowen's on? Bowen's on. Oh, hi, Bowen. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. We love you. Uh, sorry, we just got out of the water. We're all done here. Just getting Almost packed up. Almost famous people are Almost saying done. hi to Bowen. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Everybody say hi, Bowen. Hi. <laughs> Steal that We're in Maui, <laughs> Hawaii. That's cute. <laughs> uh, Maui, Hawaii. Um, thank you. I love my bathing suit too. 
I could tell you that, but I don't like lying to people. What is happening? Um, <laughs> oh, you're so late. I'm so, so sorry. Um, it was an awesome, awesome dive. We're so ecstatic about everything we saw today. Honestly, that hunting Alua gang was so cool. It was just also really cool that it was murky and made everything look all like ominous. They always just remind me of like little gangsters. Um, <laughs> we love it so much. Um, hello from France. Aloha from Hawaii. I am so sorry if you guys missed the dive. We will post some updates and highlights on our TikTok today because it was that good. I burped. Um, <laughs> I've also coughed underwater. I'm so sorry. I was talking so much. It like made me cough. I'm like, cool. That's what we do underwater. Uh, she asked if it wasn't late. Teasing. No drama. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Ed. Also, if you guys want to help out in a big way, one of the best ways to help out right now uh, for free um, is to go check out some of our content on our page. Anything you see with like a lot of views on it, um, going on those and hitting a bunch of buttons on them, sharing them, even if you're sharing them with yourself and texting them with yourself, uh, sharing them uh, helps those algorithms a ton. And then our newer content, so the videos we posted in the past like day or two, um, going and watching those through fully, hitting a whole bunch of buttons. Why is that chicken running at me? Excuse me, sir. Like we do this enough in the water. You do not need to just like charge at me. No, thank you. Um, I have never dove in a lake or a river. Um, I like animals. I'm a big fan of animals. That's why I dive. Uh, some people are like scenery people and some people are experienced people have noticed whether you're a hiker or a diver, whatever you like to do. Some people like doing it for the scenery um, and some people like doing it for the experience. I'm sure there's both kinds of people. I'm more of like the, the experience and the animal person. Some people like diving just because it's beautiful and it is, it's beautiful. It's not like I don't appreciate the beauty, um, but that's why I like diving lakes and rivers and stuff. I'm kind of like, can't really see much sometimes. <laughs> Maybe it's hungry. <laughs> I don't know. I have like a thing with animals. I swear. I don't know what it's up with me, <laughs> but they are uh, obsessed. No, that just goes in the big bag. I can put all that away, Lige. Um, but yeah, so that's one great way for you guys to help is to go check out the content on our TikTok. It's free to do. It helps spread our algorithms. It'll bring in a couple new followers. Uh, and I work really hard on the videos. <laughs> So oh, yeah, I love it when you guys go in and like talk to me on there and stuff like that. Um, but we are going to get going. It is my kids day off from school and I want to go spend some time with them and just go enjoy being a mom and rest and we're going to we're going to get going. So thank you guys so much for uh, coming along on another dive with us. We're going to we're going to head out. We have like an hour long drive back and we got to get all this gear cleaned up. I'll get some events posted for tomorrow because we are diving tomorrow gonna end this on the ocean have a good day guys uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much oh wait we'll see you for sunset <laughs> we'll see i'm not gonna make an event for sunset but i'll be back for a uh beach sunset with you guys sunset's gonna be at 6 30 p.m hawaii time which is 12 30 at night east coast time or